Welcome back to the channel everyone, Lee Santa Maria here and today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're sampling some fragrances and trying to determine are they full bottle worthy. You all know this is a regular thing on the channel. I have five fragrances. Let's see, five fragrances and three brands in the mix. So this should be fun. They are brands that you can find all at Sephora, believe it or not, now that I'm looking at them. So this is a very fun haul. Some of these you've probably smelled. None of them are brand new except for one. One is new-ish, but yeah, we'll talk about it. But yeah, before we do that, Elves, you know what we must do first. <laughs> Lipstick of the day, everyone. We're getting into fall vibes slowly but surely. And this is a cool pink called Snob from MAC Cosmetics, another old Oldie but goodie. It'll be in the description box as always for you to check out. Next up we have fragrance of the day. This is a sweet balm and this one this is a sugar balm and this is none other than Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. Full dedicated review is coming up on this fragrance because some of you all have asked me elves and I do listen. Mancera's Velvet Vanilla is your fragrance of the day. So now let's get into these fragrances that we're going to test and see which ones are full bottle worthy or not. <laughs> let's start out with the newest one. This is a very new release. This is from Mason Margiela Replica line and this is the when the rain stops. This is the latest fragrance from that line of fragrances and I love that it came in a little sample card. Came in a Sephora order I had. Quick write up on this. When the rain stops. Drops of fresh aquatic accord and woody patchouli illuminated by rose petal. A joyful getaway in green nature after the rain. Okay, so that's the vibe we're giving. Let's see if that's what's going to happen. Handy test strips as always. And yeah, let's sample the fragrance. Mm. Ah, I like this. I like this. This scent is very unisex, by the way. In fact, this is almost borderline lean masculine. So I want to say that for my ladies that might be on the fence about it, this one could actually lean masculine. I could definitely see a man wearing this. It's watery, aquatic, but woody clean. The woodiness of this is what kind of makes it a little bit masculine. And the watery, that aquatic note, that can kind of lean a cologne too. So this is a scent I'm glad I could test. And on my skin, I have tested it on my skin. I do like this scent. And would I purchase this one for a bottle? Yes, I would. But to be fair, I actually want to smell this more so on the head elf, I think. I think this is one of those we would end up sharing. Fun fact, the head elf and I actually share a lot of the replica fragrances. <laughs> it's kind of how that happens. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. He has my selling day right now. Yeah, I'm kind of missing that fragrance. <laughs> But yeah, okay, replica when the rain stops. I like this. This is good. This is good. And it's an eau de toilette concentration, but this has some body to it. This is gonna last on the skin. So I'm very pleased. And yes, I think replicas when the rain stops is full bottle worth. I think this is really good. Staying in the house of Mason Margiela in the replica line, the next fragrance we're going to sample today, this is Under the Lemon Trees. We also have another sample card here. Yes, Under the Lemon Trees. Let's get into it. So the write-up for Under the Lemon Trees is zesty notes of lemon and pedigrain essence, a relaxing moment in the shade of lemon trees. There's one thing about the replicas, they're all about scent memories and they're meant to convey moments in time, but in a scent form. So that's what I like about their scents. They're very, very unique and they don't smell like run of the meal fragrances. And I really do think they're awesome. So now let's sample under the lemon trees. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I was afraid this one was gonna be straight up lemon juice. I was really concerned about that. I actually cook with a lot of lemon. So I was like, wait a minute, is this gonna be basically the lemon I squeeze over my seafood? No, this is not that. This is actually a perfumery take on lemon. Very fresh. This is very definitely a morning scent, a daytime scent. I would run earrings wearing this. Only thing is that would it be a freshy per se. I don't normally feel like I need to buy freshies because freshies and longevity tend to not go well. Mm, I do like the scent, but I don't feel like I need this in my collection. So to me, under the lemon trees is a no on the full bottle worthy. 
but it's nice, it's clean. The next scent we're going to sample is from the house of Joe Malone. And the fragrance we have is Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Nectarine Blossom and Honey. So that is the next fragrance we're going to sample. And yeah, let's get on into it with our test strips. Let me spray a little bit of Nectarine Honey Blossom on here and let's read the notes so we can familiarize ourselves with this one. Key notes are Cassis, Acaya Honey, and Peach. Okay. London's Covet Garden, early morning market, circling nectarine, peach, and cassis, and delicate spring flowers melt into the note of Acaya Honey, sweet and delightfully playful. Okay, so this is going to be a sweet and happy scent. You definitely get straight nectarine in this. Absolutely. This is a nectarine scent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, if you like peachy scents and you like it kind of bright and very, very young, kind of in my opinion, definitely fruity floral. This is nice. This is nice. Only thing though, y'all, hmm, Joe Malone fragrances are colognes which is super light, the lightest you can buy. And this is pretty, but I can already tell it's not gonna last. Mm -mm. It smells nice. Now, if you're a person that doesn't want a heavy scent, but you want something that smells fruity floral, again, nectarine and that dash of honey is what I'm smelling more than anything, with a little bit of floral in here, then you will like this. But mm, this smells a little bit too literal like fruit for me, and I can already tell again, it's not gonna last long, so. It's not a full bottle worthy for me. So Joe Malone's Nectarine Honey Blossom, you're cute, but it's not cute enough to go in my collection. So it's a no for me. Now this next fragrance is a bestseller of Joe Malone. Yes, another Joe Malone fragrance. And this one is hyped a lot on the social media streets. So of course, when I got a sample of this, I'm like, okay, this must be everything. I need to get my life and all that. And yeah, we're gonna talk about this scent. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is considered everybody's like my skin, but better. I'm just running errands type of fragrance. So yeah, let's play in this. So with wood sage and sea salt, again, it's a Joe Malone. So it is a cologne. It is considered an earthy and woody type of scent. Key notes are ambrette seeds, ambrette seeds, sea salt, and sage. All right, description, let's get into it. Escape the everyday along the windswept shore, waves breaking white, the air fresh and sea salt and spray. Alive with the mineral scent of the rugged cliffs, mingling with the woody earthness of sage, lively, spirited, and totally joyful. Okay, that's a lot. So basically I'm supposed to be by the beach, I'm supposed to be in fresh air, I'm supposed to be in sage. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, y'all. Why is this so hyped? I barely smell anything. See, this right here is why we do this series right here of, of sampling fragrances first before we just all out buy certain fragrances, even though they are overly hyped and talked about. I would be so mad if I bought this because this is the most subtle scent. I mean, it comes out of the container as a skin scent, straight up as a skin scent. I don't understand why this is amazing. I, no, I need somebody to help me with this. Can please talk to me in the comments below why this scent is so great because quite frankly, I'm not getting it. I, I don't understand. Mm. Like I got, I'm even shoving my nose all the way up on here to really like smell it. It's so, it's nice, but this is, I feel like I would get the same effect with my body soap as soon as I step out of the shower. Like you, I would still smell my soap on me. That's kind of what this is giving. It's a no for me, obviously, because I'm kind of going in on this fragrance right now. And let me really back in. <laughs> Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. You take the overhyped award. It is an absolutely no. I'm not spending that money on this. Mm -mm. The last fragrance we're going to talk about, <laughs> this is kind of funny. This one kind of, um, we're going to go ahead and actually skip to the end of whether this is full bottle worthy or not, because uh, yeah, it is. And I'll explain why. The fragrance I'm talking about is from Clean Reserve, and this is Clean Reserve Skin. I received this sample in a Sephora order. And yeah, fun fact, I already have the full size bottle. So there is your answer right there. But hey, since we're already here, I'm just going to spray from the real bottle as we sample. So Clean Reserve Skin, let's talk about it. Mmm, so I like this. <laughs> 
Clean Reserve skin is considered a warm and sheer. I love the honesty. I'm here for it. Keynotes are fresh musk, coppola oil, and salted praline. Okay, so let's get into the description. We have, this is the signature scent you've been looking for. Creamy Madagascar Vanilla offers a soft and subtle sweetness to the cozy, close to the skin musk, creating the perfect everyday perfume. Wear this scent alone or layer with other clean reserve perfumes, shameless plug, to add warmth with a kiss of sweetness. Okay, best writer of all day. That is the best writer. Clean reserve, you did that. And that's also why we already have a full bottle. <laughs> Let me tell you something, y'all. That praline, that musk, oh man. That vanilla, let me tell you something. This is definitely up there in my top three bedtime scents. Let's go ahead and get this out the way. This is absolutely full bottle worthy. This is bedroom, bedtime scent, cuddling scent. This is what this is. I promise it's not a dedicated review, but it might as well be at this point, but yeah. And this is an older parfum concentration, I must add. So this one actually has some lasting power on the skin, but it's meant to be a skin scent, but it's a skin scent that has character. I like this, I do. And know what, now after sampling this again, I will be pulling the Skin Reserve blend out more this fall. This is definitely fall approved because vanilla just really shines in cool weather. And yeah, we're gonna get into it. So again, Clean Reserve Skin is absolutely a full bottle worthy fragrance. So all right, elves, that wraps up this edition of Is This Full Bottle Worthy or Not? Fragrances I'm currently sampling. We have two that I've deemed full bottle worthy, which again, one we already have, the other being the When the Rain Stops by Replica. The other three were cute, and one of them was overly hyped. Absolutely not. So yes, elves, let me know what you think in the comments below. Talk to me. Have you tried these fragrances? Do you own these fragrances? How do you feel about them? Do do you love them? Do you hate them? Did you sample first? Was it a blind buy? Talk to me in the comments. And as always, I do read them and I do respond. Until next time, Ills, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>